okay so what we are going to see today about the js js brush up typescript brush up and many other things we will see today okay so let me start with creating one repository on the git so i'm going to push all the codes at the git okay so you'll find all the codes on the github so let me check recording settings okay fine now you can go to the github dot com forward slash code cool github dot com forward slash code cool right new and whatever is the folder name I'll copy same this here as a repository name okay now you can see add git ignore so git ignore for what it is asking so I am saying git ignore for node git ignore file it is asking you now I would like to add git ignore file for or I'll add it manually I'll add it manually right and you can say create repository so I have created one git repo here right let me clone the project first in my repository I would like to clone it so git clone and you can paste it this link so from the server this would be coming like this right and let me open that folder open the folder which has been cloned from the git now I'm opening that folder if you can see this folder with the git ignore is on my screen okay so this is a git ignore file you can check now what I want to do let me create one more folder inside this and you can say JS brush up it's a brush up session not in detail JS right and let me create a simple file you can say my dot or you can say intro dot js now in the intro it's a folder why it is a folder it should be file please come in hmm? what happened okay so let me add it and you can say intro dot js right so I'm saying it is nothing but what introduction dot js now when you say intro let me tell you all thing about js so here you can say very first code I'm going to write console dot log and here you can say this is introduction to JS JavaScript right now before that I want to test all these codes what I want to do I want to run all these codes right make sure that in the introduction session make sure that you have installed node.js on your machine you have installed what it's a long term support LTS and I'm using this current one 
eleven four zero. Right. If you go to the command prompt and if you type node hyphen v, I would be having eleven four zero is my latest version. Now, how do you install the node? For installing the node, right? If you are on a Macintosh, very simple. If you are on the Windows, simple. But if you are on the Linux, it might create little bit complications. So make sure that you will first install NVM Node Virtual Machine on your machine on Linux machine. Even if you can do this on the Windows Mac, that is also fine, right? But mostly it is for the Linux only. So on the Linux, every time install what we can say node by means of nvm only node virtual machine only right is very important thing so nvm is one utility which will give you access to all the remote versions if you can see nvm is one utility which is giving you ls remote ls remote means all the latest versions of the node that would be on your screen can you see version version 10 14 2 is a lts version right and presently i am using this green one now you can if you want to install any of the version you can put npm in nvm install NVM. yes nvm install 10.2.2.1 something like this so this version would be installed on your machine right and one additional feature of the nvm is that it, it is allowing you to use multiple versions of the node by the command nvm use you install and you use you can switch to node versions very easily by means of what nvm use okay now this is about what you can say a little bit about node installation well you have installed the node right you have installed what node now i want to execute this command or i want to run this intro.js what what you would be doing cd js brush up i went inside the folder and then what is going to happen node right space name of your file intro.js can you see intro.js would be the output here so i have hit the command node space name of the js file right with the extension and you would be getting complete this thing which is nothing but what you can say your interpreter node is executing js file outside the browser right we are executing js files outside the browser by means of what node interpreter well this is not the lecture of what is node but how to execute the js file that is the concern so what is node this is not the intention of this lecture okay but fine installation i told you how to run it i told you it's just a brush up whatever needed things for the angular we are going to touch all that things it's a brush up not detailed session okay fine so this is about introduction.js right now <coughs> what i would like to introduce you to the es6 es6.js right what we are going to use is nothing but what es6 right now see where i can say and you can say version is equals to 10 where version is equals to 10 right then what you can say if true right if true you can say where version is equals to 20 and then you can say console dot log you can say version is what you can say plus ve r this one so this program will tell you the problem of where do we have discussed this do we have discussed this before long back. long back okay fine 
if you can see where version if true what would be the output of this code what would be the value of version it would be 20 okay but technically right if you are in the scoped programming language if you are discussing the scope value of the version would should be what 10 but see let me run the program and what happens nor node you can say es6.js version is 20 right but technically answer should be what 10 now if you want to introduce the lexical scoping right what i'll do i can have let right i will introduce what let let you can say nm os name is you can say honeycomb one of the android version right and here let nm is equals to what you can say your mango one of the microsoft os <coughs> mango right and you can say console dot log os is what you can say plus nm os is what plus nm now let me run the code once again i have used let right i have used what let instead of what where now see the output right if you can see for the where version is 20 for the where version is what 20 because you have used what where for the let version is what sorry name is what this and not this if you can see so this version is this version right this name is taking from what this name scoping scope has been involved now because of what let remember that use let instead of where's you can completely replace let sorry where's with the lets lexical scoping okay now another thing multi-line strings right here we can say console.log and i would like to have multi-line strings i would like to have multi-line strings see i'm using back ticks these are not what you can say single quotes these are back ticks right and multi-line string is possible see right so we have you can write something we have android in code cool and version v e r s i o n version is see right version is 20 and os is what you can say mango like this multi line strings see and you can evaluate also instead of this you can use dollars and inside dollars you can say ver so instead of os this you can have dollar and you can have what you can say an m you can have what an m evaluations inside the string so you don't need what you can say back what you can say you are these things concatenation instead of this how you can write this os is remove the plus this ugly syntax and here you can have dollar and the nm so this line and this line is very safe lexical scoping right in the es6 there are many more things right after the functions and the variables i'll define that as well right but for this we can use this much lines of code only 
right now how to represent the functions and how to represent the another things that we'll see in a moment okay